welcome hope you've had a good time good day to you today and today again i share with you that what is happening in modern dance in india amongst young india teaching modern dance these few remain significant they all learned some smattering of a classical style not fully to perform meaningfully in that chosen style say kathak or kathakali but with this little training and exposure they have tried to make space for themselves in the dance world their dance is technology driven sometimes and it is more dance theater than pure dance their movement vocabulary is a mix of this and that and some call it fusion and others like me call it confusion slowly this lot is gaining ground because city students find it easy to comprehend and learn in a few weeks of workshops and don't have to learn it seriously for years also it assures them visibility in social media and outreach if not serious platforms they also can easily transmit this internationally from where their funding also comes sometimes it is also a novelty profiled here are some key talents who have been active for over a decades thus have survived against all odds nitritya is one example nitritya is far ahead in artistic work and quality of productions in terms of uniqueness and direction the uniqueness comes to the fact that none of their many works look the same this is a common pitfall with most choreographers and dance companies once they get established each works looks the same partly it becomes a stylistic thing and partly boredom with the form sets in nitritya means nitya dance taru tree and semantically refers to a dancing tree the nitritya dance trust is a self funded indian contemporary dance company based in bangalore india in a span of few years since it was founded in 2000 the group has been touring worldwide primarily with artistic director mari upadhyay sister madhuri upadhyay and associate directors satyanarayanan bg geeta ballal and umesh naidu their performances have long been characterized by strong themes elements originality of design and props with a quintessence indian essence there are clearly two different methodology of teaching that they follow nitritya students have a structured syllabus of level 1 intermediate 1 and 2 and advanced level of learning these classes start from basics and can be learned even by a non dancer training given to our students has a more holistic approach to learning indian contemporary dance stressing on our movement tradition indian mythology classical dance techniques mainly bharatanatyam and kathak indian folk dances mainly karnatak forms yoga indian music and rhythms indian martial arts mainly thangta kalari chau body conditioning and techniques of modern and contemporary dance are the subjects which we train them in as a contemporary dancer is requested to be versatile and as the dance form itself is very physically challenging one requires to definitely train in more than one style and discipline as the level advances there is generalizing of the understanding of dance towards theory and choreography in ritritya we believe that a dancer and a performer go hand in hand and aspects of performing like costumes lights expressions stage blocking group work etc are an integral part of learning just like one cannot learn to swim by reading books one cannot learn to perform unless he starts his journey on stage the students have their stage performances and the talented ones also perform professionally with the company on festival shows and mega scale production there are a lot of supporting departments to dance marketing administration management design documentation which they are exposed to as well as in their learning they assist and work with the company's team on executing showcases and festivals depending on their interest and potential each level takes about a year and a half to two to complete there is a test at the end of each level and they graduate to the next level only if they are faced satisfactorily in their texts professionally company dancers there is a selection process and auditions before one gets selected to train and be a full time dancer with nitritya 
a certain standard of dancing is certainly required to get selected into the company. They need not be trained, although good trained dance in any style is a huge advantage in the selection process, but definitely need to have the physical discipline, mental conditioning and movement intelligence to get through auditions. Once they start working with us, there is a rigorous structured training and timetable that one has to follow. The training is extremely niche and focused which grooms the artists to be professional dancers. The movement disciplines that the company dancers train in are Bharatanatyam, the entire repertory, yoga, mainly Hatha Yoga, Ashtanga Vinayasa, contemporary dance, focusing on Horton, Release, Graham, Modern, Postmodern, contemporary and ballet techniques body conditioning which involves extensive and elaborate training in each of the form with accomplished teachers for each style. There are a lot of lecture demonstrations and movement workshops which are yearly planned for the dancers depending on the current touring production and the capacities of the repertory team. As being a professional dancer is not just a profession but a way of living, the fitness routine, type of food, rest and sleep for recovery, injury coping, manners and respect to gurus and crew and a complete understanding of what an artist's life is, is taught and practiced by company dancers. We believe in leading by example and hence the juniors learn and emulate the value system from the leaders and seniors and have a first hand experience by traveling and understanding the life of a professional dancer. As stated earlier, a dancer has to understand other aspects than the just physicality of it. The associated set of skills and expertise to be publicly visible and approachable as an artist is of utmost importance today. We also believe in creating leaders and visionaries and not just moving bodies and hence every dancer is trained to be responsible for their own duties and is encouraged to be thinkers and make decisions. Other than training in styles, a full-time dancer will also get an opportunity to work regularly on experimental sessions with choreographers to create new movement material, learn Ritharitya's dance technique and repertory, be an apprentice dancer for shows and eventually perform on professional platforms. With training, they also teach and work on the capacity of choreographers after gaining a considerable amount of experience in the field of dance. An average time frame for a full-time dancer investing 8 to 9 hours a day to reach a professional level would be a minimum of 3 years in our dance company. As to choreography process, co-founder and director Madhuri says, as each of our choreography is distinct and demands its own process, I would like to elaborate on one of my latest solo choreographies, Trishanku. I would say that the process is more of a self-discovery and journey inwards for me and my dancer Vishwa as it involved really getting in touch with our fears, insecurities and being honest about what we are feeling at that point in lives. The idea of choreographing on the rim of a well based on the mythological character Trishanku was the trigger point of this choreography. As a choreographer, I really enjoy the process more than the final outcome and I feel very detached to it when it is out there for public scrutiny and criticism. Jay Chandan Parari, Artistic Director Choreographer of Atakali Center for Movement Arts Bangalore. Jay Chandran Palari is an internationally sought after dancer, choreographer, teacher and artistic director of Atakali Center for Movement Arts Bangalore. He has trained in Indian Bharatanatyam, Kathakali, Indian folk dance forms and Kalari Paya too in, and in the UK in contemporary dance at the London Contemporary Dance School. He has also studied ballet, Tai Chi, Kapoori and African dance. A gifted and innovative choreographer, Jay Chandran's collaborations are with international artists whose works involve digital arts and interactive technology have resulted in some very exciting multimedia dance productions of a unique genre. City Maps, Trans Avatar, Purusartha, Kronthopia, Fopina, Medhwani, and Adhar Chakra, a dance dialogue, to name a few of his productions, have received widespread critical acclaim and toured extensively within India and internationally. 
committed to interdisciplinary and intercultural art practices, Jay Chandran, through Articulary, the organization he leads, provides dynamic leadership and makes strategic intervention to stimulate the growth of a vibrant contemporary performing arts scene in Bangalore and India as a whole. Since its inception in Bangalore in 2001, Articulary has made huge contributions in developing the performing arts scene in India, particularly in the realm of physical performance, stage technologies, choreography and pedagogy. With the motto, Traditional Physical Wisdom, Innovation Technology, Jay Chandran's choreographic and teaching works reflect the meaningful blend of knowledge and wisdom from the rich physical performance traditions of India and on the one hand, the latest information and skills created elsewhere in the world. Articulary Repertory Company is at the forefront of Indian contemporary dance scene. Jay Chandran has participated in artistic residencies internationally, presented papers and lecture demonstrations on subjects related to movement arts and directed an exhaustive research and documentation project Nagarika, an interactive information system on Indian physical traditions that aims to extract knowledge about physical movement and its context in these traditions and to present this information and mentor many dance residencies and festivals, including Articulary's Facets International Choreography Residency. Jay is also director of South Asia's largest contemporary dance digital arts festival, the Articulary India Benali. Driven by Articulary's underlying philosophy, traditional physical wisdom, innovation and technology, Jay Chandran is deeply committed to the movement arts extending to reach contemporary movement arts. His path-breaking work makes India movement expression contemporary reality visible both nationally and internationally. He was given the Attendance Choreography Award in 2014. Gati, Anusha Lal and Mandeep Rekhi are trying to find new language but all mostly borrowed from Western sensibilities and aesthetics. Anusha Lal learned from Leela Sampson, went to UK where she saw the dance scene and came back to India and started a workshop and studio at Max Miller Bhavan, Delhi, moving out to own space and studios in Saket office. Funding started coming in. Mandeep Rekhi manages the studio and trains many interested in the art form. The Germans have funded new Indian dances most in the last 30 years since George Lechner started the East-West Encounter meetings in the mid-1980s. Fry University, Berlin and other dance centers like Wuppertal, Pina Bausch and Sasha Waltz, Cologne and Bonn, Fred Traguth had attracted many pioneering dancers in the 60s and 70s like Astad Debu, later Navtej Johar. Navtej Singh Johar, who transitioned from classical to contemporary to modern, says, in the last 10 years, I can say that my work has been gradually consolidating and developing a clearer voice and a multi-layered focus that simultaneously deals with aesthetics, poetics, politics, history and late philosophy. If I review my work today, in the last decade, I can see the theme of eroticism remains central to my work and can equally trace a proliquity to challenge the narratives, norms and notions that support hierarchies, be it class, gender or cultural. I am drawn to Rasa theory and Dhwani theories of Avinav Gupta. I am of the school that believes that the performer is not only a vessel but also recipient of what he or she is producing. I that he and she does not only express bhava but also experiences rasa. I am very clear that I am not a carrier of any message or propagator, advocate or ambassador of any culture. My job is to orchestrate experience in which I, the performer, remain central. Music continues to play a very vital part in my work. Almost all my works hinge on a padam, javli or a tumri. And of late, I have also started to use voice and singing in my performances. My work is almost always making a comment on dance its inherent eroticism, its fabricated histories which I find problematic and controlling hierarchies that prevail within it. So the targeting of reconstructed narratives, both political and philosophical, has become central in my work over the last few years. To me, Indian dance is not an innocent affair. It is hugely complex, politically driven, problematically defined and projects an idea of India that is neither historically sound nor secular or democratic. 
my continuous attempt is to find some autonomy for dance as for the body within a context that has been hugely manipulated and is manipulative and oppressive in term. He continues, I also base my dance work on the practice and philosophy of yoga. One tool of yoga that helps me significantly as a dancer is the technique of ujjayi breath that is so widely used in our tradition, that of Sri Krishna Macharya. Ujjayi is a method of chest breathing that directly awakens the spine and B makes the breath supply of audible, thus making the practice auto-engaging as the practitioner is not only modulating but also simultaneously able to hear the breath. Thus through this dual process of both doing and gauging, I the practitioner come to stand at the center of my practice. What this practice teaches me is to remain the primary recipient of the after effects of what I am physically generating, which incidentally is always centering, sweet, rasa imbued and deeply satisfying. It is here that yoga has direct bearing on my dance. It convinces me that I am not only a doer but also a primary partaker of what I am experiencing. It helps me make my body first generate and then become available to receive and absorb the echo of movements and gestures that I generate. The result is that of a repose or itminan in the body and this itminan or equipoise is palpable, visible to the eye and great asset in a performance. Many other groups in India are teaching modern dance, but sometimes film dance, salsa and western movies are mistaken for modern dance. The mood question remains, what is modern Indian dance? How does it reach masses? Why is there more brain than body in some of these dances, palmed off as modern? What makes modern Indian dance teaching lacking semblance of any standardization? How is one different than the other? Is mixing little kalari with yoga or kathak with chow modern? Mainstream and mass appeal dancers are mostly from Bombay, Shamak Dawar, Remo and Terence Lewis. One sees them as judges on TV dance shows and they bring something new to table, even if mostly western moves and stuff. India seems to continue to suffer from colonial culture. Our last name on the list is someone who came to dance in 1990 only. Madhu Natraj Kiran who studied Kathak from her mother Dr. Maya Rao and from Chitra Venugopal. Although she is trained in contemporary dance in New York, Madhu returned to India with a vision to create a new unique dance company with its own distinctive contemporary Indian dance identity. The Natya Stem Dance Company. She believes dance is a potent medium for change in the public domain. Ranging from education, social issues, creativity, documentation to healing, her projects aim to materialize this philosophy. Madhu has created several choreographic works, short pieces and productions in the 16 years of the company's existence. Madhu Natraj Kiran loves to pontificate and sound poetic. Dance is my sibling. Strange as it may sound, there is no ambiguity in my mind about this statement. Born to Kathak dancer and choreographer Dr. Maya Rao and to musician impresario M.S. Natrajan, our home was always host to great minds, artists, musicians, dancers and of course, dance. The Nate Institute of Kathak and Choreography, which had newly relocated to Bangalore from Delhi, sent a very reluctant me to a contemporary dance festival workshop held by ADF and then Sangeet Nank Academy in New Delhi. The precepts of choreography, these fundamental principles of creating dance had to be name of our company, says Madhu Natraj of STEM, Space, Time, Energy, Movement, Dance, Theatre took shape in 1995. Madhu says her mother, Maya Raoji, and she merged our performing units in 2004 and became a stronger entity as Natya STEM Dance Company known in Bangalore for balancing tradition with modernity. Apart from performing, the company strives to inhabit the public domain through the medium of dance. As dancers, we can connect our bodies, mind and souls while ideating, while dancing, while choreographing. Magic. At the company, we constantly strive to create a dance vocabulary which explores the limitless possibilities of the human form. We gravitate towards movement that is natural, organic. I believe that tradition and modernity need to coexist 
and that reflects in our dance ideology. I have always been caught in the crossfire of so called caretakers of traditional and contemporary dance. The reason? My dual identity as both a contemporary and a Kathak dancer. As a Kathak dancer, Madhu, Nataraj, Kiran is minimally equipped and this shows in a dance too. It is a use of other inputs, lights, costumes, projection, talking that makes a production which looks repetitive. Dr. Maya Rao very aptly stated, if any innovation stands the test of time, it becomes a tradition of the future. Yesterday's innovation is today's tradition. There is enough space for both the purists and the radicals to exist in their realms. Dance belongs to all of us. She needs to be cherished and celebrated, not fought over. My dance will continue to explore new dimensions, connect with new universal language, dance and retain the essence, the scent and fragrance of India.